Hi, it's Richard in the Old Loki Workshop. How do you make the workbench roll? That is the question. This is my version of the traditional woodworker's workbench. And this is a normally stationary workbench because when you've got stuff in the vices and you're pushing on it or you're sanding or you know working it, the material, however, you don't want it to move. So it's down on its legs, so to speak. And there's a mechanism to allow this thing to move, uh, which goes like this. You simply pick up on this end of the workbench. That goes down on wheels. And then this end goes on wheels. Maybe I should say it goes up on wheels. Anyway, roll the workbench around. When you wanna make it stationary again, pull on a string, goes back down here. Same on the other end like this and you are back to stationary again. But this isn't a new idea. I saw this on the New Yankee workshop years ago. But let's take a closer look at how that works. Here's how to put the workbench on rollers. Lift it up, down go the kickers, holding the two before down with the casters and you're ready to roll. Here is the reverse of that procedure, putting the workbench back down to stationary. Lift it up, pull up on the string, down it goes on its legs. These kicker boards are hinged right here. And so they don't want to hang straight down vertical because the center of gravity is in here somewhere. So that's what's going to be right underneath the hinge pin. So they hang out at an angle like that. But there's a little magnet in here on this block as well as a little magnet embedded here in the inside of this leg. And this board has a little momentum when it comes down. So when it comes down, it just goes like that. Isn't that sweet? Here's a view of the magnet that's embedded in the inside of the leg and then here's the magnet on the kicker board over here so when those two get together get close boom there you go the woodworkers workbench is normally stationary but it'll roll now the assembly table is normally rolling and boy does it roll you know and that's a good thing because I'm constantly moving this thing around in the workshop and I also use it to transport tools and other equipment that I need. For example, when I go to change oil in the car or work on the car, I pile all of the wrenches and the oil and the oil pan and everything that I need and the filters and so on on that table and I can roll it right out by the car and then I'm not walking in and out of the garage to get stuff, you know, all day long. Um, so. The next project is going to be able to figure out how to make the assembly table convert it from normally rolling to, no to, to stationary. And that's how I made my normally stationary workbench roll. Thanks for watching.